Hello everybody, welcome to our first match with Esper Demonic Starfield. Very particularly interesting deck of ours. Um, seems like a moderately keepable hand. It's got a couple of five drops, but what I'm excited about is the Silk Wrap and the Wasteland Strangler interaction. Of course, you can Silk Wrap their uh, turn one or two creature and then use the Strangler to not only kill one, but leave behind a body that can kill yet another. So, the definition of card advantage. So, with all that in mind, I think I am okay with keeping this. We even have the uh, Silumgar's Command to bring back an enchantment once it's already been played, either the Silk Wrap or uh, a Demonic Pact, ideally. So, let's see what we got. Ooh, looks like our opponent is stuck on mana, actually. That was very unfortunate. Not much to be done about that. <coughs> so next turn, we will have all of our colors at the ready. We'll have an Anguished Unmaking, and it might just not really matter that much if our opponent can't find a land this turn. Could be too little too late. Looks like maybe the black-green uh, Sacrifice deck with Nantuko Husks and Westvale Abbey, and of course... Um, Zulaport Cutthroat as a win condition. So, in light of that, I think we're going to hold on to the Silk Wrap for that. Next turn, we can Silk Wrap one creature and strangle another, depending on what he plays. But with no black mana, we don't have to worry about a Cutthroat just yet, which is what I would really like to save the Silk Wrap for. Maybe another Visionary or a Duskwatch Recruiter. Okay. I will happily consume that with a Silk Wrap. And we could also play the Demonic Pact, however. Um, I don't see... He doesn't have a Crypt of the Frights out. That would change things pretty dramatically, but I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and play the Pact. Doesn't use our mana quite as well. And takes a little bit more damage. I don't think he's going to be able to afford to uh, use his Recruiter. Just to draw a card, maybe. I think his man is a bit too constrained for that. And again, if he had the Crypto with Rights, then I would certainly be interested in wiping his board since he's clearly stuck on mana and has at least six spells in hand. But just getting the pack down as soon as possible is within my interests. Next turn, let's see. We'll have six mana at the ready. We can always, of course, Silk Wrap and Strangle. We could uh, also un Anguished on Making and Strangle as well. I can just this up. Maybe that's Cryptolith Rites. And then a Catacomb Sifter or something. There are the Rites. And a Tuco Husk. Alright, so that changes things a little bit. I can use the Demonic Pact to deal four mm -hmm. to the Husk. And that would kind of force him mm -hmm. into sacrificing both creatures to mm -hmm. it if he wants it to survive. And then I can always just Silk Wrap it. Uh, I think I will go ahead and deal four. I don't know if he is likely to sacrifice the husk to itself to get around to Silk Wrap. He might be more interested in keeping the enchantment around and I'd have to maybe sacrifice it later, giving him back his husk. I would rather he did not sacrifice it so that I get something exiled to use with the Strangler. I'm going to go ahead and deal four, though. He's got to decide. No matter what, I'm gaining my four life unless he sacks the husk to itself, which he apparently neglected to do. Okay. Um, so in that case... I think I'm ready to just wipe his board, get the Crypto Threats out, keep his board light. And they're both going to end up in the graveyard either way. So it doesn't matter which one I choose. Go ahead and strangle you and give you back your Elf Visionary. Alright, so opponent has an empty board and he's got a man land, which is something to keep track of, and Crypto Threats if he can collect a company into something, but. Between the Silumgar's Command, the Anguished I'm Making, and all the card advantage we're going to get off of the Demonic Pact, I think we're in mm -hmm. okay shape. Especially if he's just playing Sifter, we can um, deal with that, I think, quite easily. So I didn't actually mean to F6, just in case. I will draw two cards here, see what we can find. It's like a Languish or something. Might cast that. Don't have any enchantments in the graveyard just yet uh, for my Starfield of Nyx, but now that I have the Sinister Concoction, of course that all changes. So let's see, what do we got here? Oops, I don't actually want to play that. We have 
Seven lands. I could play the star field and use the Sinister Concoction. Uh, first, I'm going to offer a trade here. I doubt he takes it. But we'll find out. I could also always hold up five mana for the Silumgar's Command. I'm going to be doing that next turn, certainly, as that's my best answer to my own Demonic Pact. So I think I want to play the Starfield first. And I'm going to play Sinister Concoction and use it now to remove the Sifter, giving him no mana off of the Cryptolith Rites. Question is, what do we discard? I think it's pretty obvious, just a Swamp. Not really hurting for lands. And unfortunately, put an Angelic Purge into the graveyard. I would have liked to have put maybe another Demonic Pact or something to bring back with the Starfield. But at the very least, we do have Sinister Concoction on Recurrence now. Opponent has five cards in hand. He's about to lose two to the Demonic Pact. I'd say we're in pretty decent shape here. So we should be at 16 less life, uh, 16 life rather, four less life, mm -hmm. if our opponent had sacrificed the Nantuko Husk mm -hmm. to the uh, Demonic Pact activation. But he elected not to. Maybe just an oversight. So our opponent plays one or two cards, then we'll get the rest of them with uh, Demonic mm -hmm. Pact. If he decides to play just one and hold on to the other two, I would anticipate a collected company in the near future. Zulaport's a little annoying, but we do have an answer to it. We are going to get his hand from the looks of it. He's going to probably sacrifice... Oh, never mind. Okay. Hopefully no Nantuko Husk. That card would be, I guess, the scariest here. But we are going to Silumgar's Command, mm -hmm. the Demonic Pack, back to hand, mm -hmm. and likely deal th uh, minus three, minus three to the Zulaport mm -hmm. Cutthroat. Getting that off the table is imperative, I would say. Alternatively, we could always anguish done making our own Demonic Pact, mm -hmm. but that is not at all preferable. Let's see, you got a Duskwatch and another Sifter. I'm alright with that. Alright. So we could ping us with both of these Scions. It's not any concern. We are going to get his hand and bring back a concoction don't quite yet have the five enchantments necessary to start bashing him over the head with our enchantments but that's okay let's see what he had in hand another cryptolith mm -hmm. and another catacomb mm -hmm. all right we got a dead weight that is good dead weight is a great card to have in the graveyard mm -hmm. when you have a star field going just mm -hmm. every turn put a minus two minus two enchantment on something and the beauty of it is that they can't react to it once they've said I'm not going to do anything and the dead weight returns to the battlefield it is too late and they are going to be dead weighted whether they want to or not so let us bounce the pact that is for certain and then I guess minus three minus three on the cutthroat and then start uh, dead weighting things we want to dead weight right away so that we can uh, get use out of it the following turns. And the next turn, we have access to Demonic Pact once more. We can Anguish to make something. We could Anguish to make and strangle something. We got lots of options. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to hold up enough mana for Deadweight and the uh, Sinister mm -hmm. Concoction. But what can we do? Let's see, our opponent scries, leaves it on top. All right, so he's happy to draw whatever his next card is. We can kill the Duskwatch Recruiter now. I don't think there's any sense in trying to deprive him of mana. He seems to have no shortage of that. And I'm just going to leave <coughs> my um, Strangler back on defense for now. And also another reason to use the dead weight there right away is to deny him the use of a second scry, since we know he's going to keep it on top. Just a visionary. So... He would rather have taken the guaranteed creature plus drawing a random card to just drawing a random card, which is understandable. If he has like a husk or anything, I'm just going to put the dead weight on it right away. we got plenty of answer answers to whatever he might have. Bring his quagmire online. I think I would be interested in trading with that. But I'm actually going to trade with the uh, sifter. We definitely have enough answers to the quagmire. This way he doesn't get to scry. 
Same amount of damage either way. Alright, so let's bring back the dead weight. Just kill off one of his scions. So this is the last moment he has to react. If he does nothing, then the dead weight will immediately come into play on the scion and kill it. He won't even have a chance to sacrifice it. Same would apply to an Antuka husk. We do want to exile something. Mm -hmm. Might be actually too late to exile the Crypto with rights. He has enough land, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to save it for the Quagmire, I think. But first and foremost, I need to play this Demonic Pact. I don't think there's any way he's got two mana spells to cast. Yeah, okay. So he was just thinking. Um, if he had a Naturalize, he could tap the Scion for green with the rights and then sack it to itself to just give the white mana, or the colorless mana, rather. So I'm going to bring this back and attach it to a Scion. I drew a Languish, not the most impressive now. I'm going to play a Demonic Pact and hold up uh, Anguish Done Making. And also Sinister Concoction, either or. So we've got answers to Ormondal, answers to Manlands. He's only got two cards in hand. The Cutthroat's annoying, but I'm just going to unmake it and then animate my um, Wasteland Strangler. I'm going to definitely anguish the uh, Hissing Quagmire instead. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, wait for him to attack. I don't think it matters. But optimal play, good practices. So let's exile this. Oh, a non-land permanent. I should re read that more carefully. All right, so we're going to take out the... Um, yeah, we're still going to take out the Cutthroat. We lose three. Don't lose one to it uh, pinging us, I guess, since it's being exiled and not killed. Kill another Eldrazi Scion with Deadweight again. And we could always Wasteland Strangle the Visionary. That would leave us with a blocker to deal with the Quagmire as well. And we're going to be drawing some cards off of the uh, Demonic Pack soon. So, oops. Let's, uh, let's start by drawing two cards. Ordinarily, you draw two cards, have your opponent discard two, and then deal four, gain four. Obviously, that changes from time to time based on the situation. If you're under pressure, you might need to use the deal four, gain four. If you are uh, ever in a situation where your opponent's got only two cards in hand, it's nice to take care of that as well. So I'm going to actually hold on to the caves to, sac to discard to the Sinister Concoction. I'm just going to play another Starfield and get both enchantments back, most likely. Ooh, and we can even get to attack. Alright, Demonic Pack comes in, Silk Rep, other Starfield, and I can even attack with the Concoction and still use it. And we've got two Starfields now. So if we kill one, we have the other. All of our creatures will go back to just being enchantments, though. I think we got this game under control. And even Liliana is too little too late. So I could kill her, but I'm just going to do that with the uh, Strangler or the Silk Rap. It wouldn't really matter. So I'll go ahead and bring this back, I suppose. And he will scoop. All right. So we're going to draw an Oath of Jace, which is nice. Um, Oath of Jace with a Starfield in play is great if you can get it into the graveyard, either by discarding an Oath of Jace to an Oath of Jace, or playing both of them since they are legendary. Once you get an Oath of Jace in the graveyard and one on the battlefield with a Starfield out, you get to just recur one after the other and draw three cards a turn, and it's very hard to run out of answers then. So against the Sacrifice deck, definitely bringing in Descend Upon the Sinful. Exiling all creatures is preferable to killing them when there's a Zulaport Cutthroat out. Um, assuming he's got Collected Company, I did see one, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, affirm that he has collected company, so I'm going to bring in Dispels and Negates for that. Question is, uh, Virulent Plague necessary for Eldrazi Scions mm -hmm. and Ormondal tokens off of uh, Westvale Abbey? Uh, could be worth a card, but I am not sure, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what else we have. Pick the Brain can be pretty good if you catch with Delirium and you catch a collected company or something, but that's kind of hard to do. Mm -hmm. Dark Petition to find an answer, and mm -hmm. Infinite Obliteration. I don't really think I want to bring in the Blood Cursed Knights, but let's see what we got. So, against Liliana and all of his low drops, I definitely like the Silk Wraps. Those are staying for sure. Question is, um, 
Is Disperse really worth it? It does deal with Ormondal, not the land, the Quagmire and Westvale themselves, but with the eventual token. Uh, I definitely like Flaying Tendrils, even with the um, Nantuko Husk out. If I can deal with that first and then exile everything, that's always nice. Hmm. Soren might be a bit too slow. I think I can take out Soren for a Descend Upon the Sinful. And maybe one Demonic Pact so I can shed some of my answers to it. I'm going to take out the Disperse and an Unmaking. This makes me a little softer to uh, Ormondal. But it does let me bring in a host of counter spells. Also on the draw, I think I can take out an Evolving Wilds for another negate. So playing a little bit riskier, taking out a pact, a couple of answers to my own pact as a result, bringing in an answer to a wide board and also to keeping it from getting wide with counters for uh, good old collected company. So let's run it back and see how we do. Be right back for game two.